This is a very, very exciting morning for me. It's about 8 o'clock. Um, right now we've got pretty much full sun. Just a moment ago we had some clouds. But uh, this is the first day after many months of work that we have solar power going to the battery and charging the battery. So these are the uh, Harbor Freight solar panels for kits and uh, everything set up in temporary wiring. This is just a test, nothing fancy. Um, just um, making sure that it works. <laughs> and that, that was not a sh shout out to not, nothing fancy, although I do love this channel, watch a lot of his, uh, a lot of his material. But I've just uh, got uh, the wiring just hooked up in, in uh, red to red black to black. I'm still learning all the electrical terminology. Um, I'm a real neophyte at this and could not have done any of this without a lot of help from Al on uh, on YouTube. I forget his channel. Um, it's uh, like Eco Solar Power or something like that. But anyway, so here's a, a potential of uh, well, 180 uh, watts uh, it's four uh, Harbor Freight 45 watt uh, kits all put together. It's actually over our, my one of my garden beds, which I've got my onions are growing really well. For some of my run onions, but these babies are looking good in there. Nice big fat onions. We'll go over that later. But anyway, here we go. Uh, it's a total wiring mess down there. Although it's clean, it's just not. Um, uh, pretty. I got to come across here, just laying across uh, <coughs> some of the uh, blueberries and get some uh, volunteer tomatoes. And here I got my 10 watt wire coming in. Again, this is just laying on the floor. It's going to be. It's a complete uh, mess. Don't give me grief from it. And into the garage and into the battery and the charge controller and you can see the uh, MPPT 30 amp charge controller working away there. So we've got the wires coming in and if I see if I can follow this here are the wires coming in here is the uh, 30 amp fuse I don't know if that's focusing or not and, uh, and the 10 gauge wire going in to the uh, solar controller then I've got the uh, two positive and negative wires coming out they come up to the battery. I just have one battery here I know this is kind of a joke battery it was given to me this is what I'm using right now as I'm getting my system tested and, and set up so I'll be getting some 6 volt um, what do they call it? golf cart batteries uh, again, from a recommendation, it's the way to go, and I'll hook those up to run a 12 volt system. But anyway, it has that coming in. Then I've co I'm coming out to a 125 watt uh, fuse. And what I did here, is, uh, as you can see here, I just went down to Walmart and and uh, and uh, just ran this 10 gauge wire just on a on a crimp. Um, loop here terminal and put it on here <clears throat> then coming off I've come into the fuse come into the uh, pure sine wave inverter which is also a recommendation I debated whether to spend the money on a pure sine wave you know what I just sleep better at night knowing that it's a pure sine wave it's a high quality unit uh, it's beefy uh, I'm, I have no worries about running anything off of it then uh, from there I've got uh, just an extension cord plugged in and uh, from the extension cord I've got my kilo, kilowatt and then I've got a, a test fan sitting here so I'm just going to turn the power on. Oh by the way you can see that uh, everything's running great here. The flashing light here charge means it's in uh, full MPPT mode which is a constant charge uh, which is what we want to see. We've, we see that we've got a load on there um, and let me just check the instructions real quick what that says here so um, when this light here is the charge light is red 
on the battery it means it's charged it's charged up strongly when the red light is flickering the battery is in MPPT charged up in constant voltage when the red light is off it charges off so it's charging up in MPP constant voltage right now charging up the battery here on the load light uh, it says here when the green load is on load is working when green LED load is off load stop working so um, I, I'm guessing something is causing a load I'm not sure what it is because I don't have anything turned on and the battery uh, three color change LED battery light when light is red it indicates low voltage green indicates battery full charge charge indicates normal um, uh, orange indicates normal status. So, my wife says it's orange. I'm red green colorblind, so I can't really see what these are. I'm just I just know what I'm told because so, uh, I really can't see the colors. Okay, I'm going to turn this on. Uh, first of all, I look at the bolts here. We get a nice clean uh, 116 uh, volts, watts, no volts, yeah. 60 megahertz and there's no draw. Go ahead and turn on this fan at low. Is that low? Yeah, that's low. Take a look at here over at the uh, at the watts and it's drawing uh, about 61 watts. Uh, everything over here is looking good. No battery and no, uh, sorry, no um, fans are coming on. So of course, we're hardly drawing any power. I'll turn this up so we can see the kilowatts. Now we're up to about 83 watts right now. We're pulling uh, 0.73 amps. And then I'll just go ahead and turn this all the way up. Okay, so now we're up to over an amp. Uh, 113 volts, which is nice and consistent, very clean. 110 watts. So uh, this is good to know. I, the reason why I get this, I'm going to turn this off so you don't care about the wind. The reason why I get the kilowatt is uh, so I can know how much uh, power is being drawn to help uh, know what size, how many batteries I need, and so forth. But anyway, everything's working. Very excited. Um, I gotta get this cleaned up and I'm gonna do another video on each component where I bought it, what it cost, uh, how I installed it, why I bought it, um, and uh, how this all works together. I also want to show you it's kind of cloudy, kind of on and off right now. I'm gonna show you here how this, uh, this uh, controller works. So we've got Right now, coming in from the solar panels, we've got just over 13, or 13 and a half uh, watts of volts, DC volts coming in. So that's just where we want to be for the battery, because that's where we want to charge the batteries, about 13 and a half. But as, as uh, I'm going to move this over so you can see this, but what, what happens with this charge controller, and the reason why you want to use one, is because as you see, that this charge light is con consist uh, constant, but when the clouds go away from the sun and this gets up to 20 DC volts, then the uh, controller kicks in and, and regulates that voltage so it doesn't uh, overcharge the batteries. So if I go over to the uh, lo uh, over here on the battery, you can see we're reading 13.6 volts. And that's that's how, what it's putting out to the battery, so it doesn't overcharge the battery. So I'll come I'll kind of come back over here. We're now at 15, 19, 16. You can see the the clouds moved away, and now the the charge controller is flashing, which means it's regulating that, so it doesn't overcharge the battery. So I'll go into more detail on all this, but uh, very excited on how this has turned out, and uh, appreciate all the help from Al online and I'll keep you updated on all the different components I'm using. Uh, thanks a lot, LDS Prepper out.